Good morning, kids. Good morning. So excited for another wonderful children's Bible class. And guess who's back? Hey. Mr. Lee is going to help us with our songs today. I'm so excited. And just wait till you see the wonderful uh, special guest that we have joining us today. So stay tuned for some great people. All right. Are you ready to sing some songs? Great. Let's start out with the B-I-B-L-E. What does okay. that spell? Does anybody know? Hmm. What does that spell? Bible. <laughs> it spells Bible. <gasps> so let's sing about it. The B-I-B-L-E. -B -E. Yes, that's, that's the, the book, book for me. me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. <gasps> Speaking of Bibles, this is one of my very first Bibles. Look at that. All just worn and used and highlighted. Do you have a favorite Bible? Let's sing it again. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Excellent job. All right. Now, let's sing a song about... Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. What, what about these? These are ears. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. What's this? Our mouth? Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Very good. All right, you know what we haven't done in a long time? Is mm. deep and wide. Mm. Are you ready? Do you remember that one? Okay, so how do you do deep? And how do you do wide? So deep, wide. Are you ready? Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain deep and wide, mm, and wide, mm, and wide, there's a fountain flowing, mm, and wide, mm, and wide, mm, and wide, there's a fountain flowing, mm, and wide, mm, and mm, mm, and mm, there's a fountain flowing, mm, and mm, and mm, and mm, there's a fountain flowing mm, and mm, mm, and mm, mm, and mm, there's a mm, mm, flowing mm, and mm, and mm, mm, and mm, there's a fountain oh, oh, oh no there's a mm, mm, flowing mm, and mm, and mm, and mm, there's a mm, 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 and mm, a little tough to remember all the mmms. Wow, very good job. Okay, I think we should do this little light of mine. So where's your light? Put your finger up, everybody. Get your light out. Very good. And let's sing a song about shining our lights. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 
won't let Satan it out. out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Excellent job. So, no matter where you go, we can always shine our light for Jesus, right? That's right, because we all have Jesus living in our hearts. And we can just shine and shine. Very good. All righty. Well, I think we have one more song. Okay. We really miss Mr. Lee yeah. doing this song last week because he just does such a good job knocking those Jericho walls down. So, let's go ahead and knock some Jericho walls down. Are you ready? Marching around the Jericho walls. Jericho walls. Jericho walls. Marching around the Jericho walls early in the morning. This is the way we blow our horns, blow our horns, blow our horns. This is the way we blow our horns early in the morning. This is the way we march real quiet, march real quiet, march real quiet. This is the way we march real quiet early in the morning. This is the way we shout real loud, shout real loud, shout real loud. This is the way we shout real loud early in the morning. This is the way the walls fall down, walls fall down, walls fall down. This is the way the walls fall down early in the morning. Very good. Wonderful job. All right, now let's enjoy our lesson. Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? I hope everybody is doing great and that you have had a good weekend and that I hope and pray you all have a blessed week next week as well. This morning, we're going to learn about a man named Abram. And we're going to learn that God sends Abram to a new land. So, are you all ready to learn? about Abram. So, this is Abram, and this is his wife, Sarai, and they lived in a place called Ur. Now, God said to Abram, told him, he said, leave your city and your home and all your friends and go to a special land that I'll show you. There's Abram and Sarah. And here's Abram and Sarah praying. And so Abram and Sarah, along with his nephew, Lot, packed up and went. So here we have Abram, Sarah, and Lot. They packed up all their possessions and they've left the land of Ur to head to a new place that God was gonna show them. Now, a lot of times when we go on a trip with our parents, grandparents, friends, we know where we're going. Sometimes we go to the beach. Sometimes we go to um, the lake, or we could go to a fun amusement park, or we could go to a new, shopping destination but we always know where we're going and when we move from one house to another house we know where we're going we can pack up everything we own and go from our new old house to our new house and sometimes those houses can be in other places they can be in other states they can be in other cities but we always know where we're going but abram and sarah and lot they really didn't know where they were going because God didn't tell them. He just said he was going to send them to a new land. And they trusted God and they listened to God and they said, okay. So they packed up 
See how they packed up and moved? Because God was going to show them how to get there. They trusted him enough, right? So, Abraham was faithful, and that's why God asked him to pack up and move. So, Abram also took his animals, because Abraham was a shepherd, and a shepherd is somebody who tends to flocks of sheep and cows, um, and they just they make sure they stay safe, they're healthy, and they usually move them from one place to the next so they can eat the grass or the, the and have water to drink. So here's Abraham looking, because he's looking for that new land that God's gonna show him. So what I wanna show you real quick is a map of where Abraham and Sarah kinda started out and where they ended up going. So, here's the map. It's kind of big, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna try my best so you can see it. So way down here is Ur, okay? Way, way down here, do you see it? So Abram and Sarah and Lot and all their animals packed up and went on the trip. Now, they didn't really know where they were going, right? So then they made a stop here in Haran. It's kind of in the middle of the page. See that? They kind of stopped there for a while. And so here's some of the animals that they probably would have had with them. Goats, because they were useful for milk, meat, and cheese. And cows, because cows are good for milk, meat, leather, and pulling. And sheep, because sheep are good for their fur or their hair because or their wool i'm sorry i said it wrong for their wool because their wool was used to help make clothes to wear right you can use sheep wool for lots and lots of things so they stopped here in harem for a while and they kind of stayed and then they moved all the way down here they moved all the way down here to whoops sorry Moved all the way down here to Canaan. Because this was the land that was going to be promised to Abraham and his family. So let's look at this map the best we can. So they started way here. They traveled up and up and up and up and down over here to Canaan. Now, if you're looking at this map, do you see how big it is? So you see all of this and you're probably wondering, well, why didn't they just go across? Well, that's all desert and that was not very easy to travel. And when you're traveling with animals, they need water to drink. So if you look at the map, they kind of traveled along rivers. They followed the river so that they could have places for their animals to graze and water to drink. Plus they needed water to drink as well. So this provided them with water to drink and a place to feed and water their animals until they got to their home. And then once they get to their home, Abram makes an altar to God as a thank you for making sure that they were able to get safely where they needed to go. Because God took care of Abraham, and God takes care of us as well. Sometimes we don't always know what God wants us to do, but we have faith in him to know that he is going to lead us in the right direction and that he's always going to take care of us. So let me show you my coloring sheet that I did on our lesson today. It's called God Sends Abram to a New Land. And if you're interested in getting a coloring sheet like mine, it talks about our lesson today, have your parents and grandparents send me a message and I will drop you one in the mail, okay? I hope you all have enjoyed this lesson about Abram and Sarai and Lot, and I will see you all later. Bye guys, love you all. So now we're gonna start the craft portion of this class. Mallory's gonna help me. Um, you'll need a couple of things, these little craft brackets, and what else do we need? We also need a paper plate mm -hmm. and some markers.
And these. Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Yep. And you're going to take your bracket and put it in the middle of the paper plate like this. Because we're making a compass. Just like that. So it's right there in the middle. And then now he's going to show us how we make the compass. So. So we do it like this. First you're going to draw. Draw. Remember? It's like this. So you're going to... Yeah, you're doing a good job. So, Boy, that's right. And then you go this way. Mm -hmm. This is these. That's right. Good job. South. South. And then we go this way, and this is west. Right. Very good. Then we're going to take one of our little pipe cleaners. I got a Mm -hmm. I got brown, and you're gonna put it in the middle like this. And put it around there, and we want to. So here, let's see. There we go. So if we're gonna go north east, we would go this way and this way, like that. And then we got another one in the dark. Yeah, here, do you want to use your dark purple on this one? And how about we go southwest? So we're going to put it around here like that. Good job. And then we're going to put it down here. And then we're going to point it down here. Uh huh. And we're going to point that way. And you hold it up, show it right. And that's how you make a compass. Yes. Say bye. Bye. And we've already got our pieces that we need. And we already got our pieces that we need. And so you need some bread. And so you need some bread. With peanut butter on it. With peanut butter on it. And then we've got our little pieces cut up of grapes, bananas, yeah. and blueberries. And we're going to make a bear and a kitty cat. Yeah, because cause we, cause we just found this uh, picture of it. Yep. Do you want to show them the picture? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll turn it around and show them the picture. Alright. So there's the picture. And there's the picture. I have <laughs> You're You're good. <laughs> okay. So first we're going to make the teddy bear. First we're going to make the teddy bear. And we're going to use bananas. We're going to use bananas. For his ears. For his ears. And his nose. And so you're going to put... Which one, which one is the bear? Either one. That one. Alright. <laughs> so we're going to put that up there for his nose. And you're going to put... Can you put them up a little higher? Uh-huh. <laughs> and the other one. Check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now we're going to take blueberries. Now we're going to take blueberries. And we're gonna give him his eyes. So his you're gonna put. Eyes. Mm hmm You're gonna put one there. One there. No. <laughs> one there. One there. And one right over here. One right over here. Mm hmm And then we're gonna give it a nose. nose. So you're gonna put a little blueberry right in the middle of the banana. A little blueberry. <laughs> More so like that. <laughs> like that. And we're gonna move the bear out of the out of the way, and now we're gonna do a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one is a kitty cat? The okay. one down here at the bottom. So for the kitty cat. Where his whiskers? No, here. Look. Mm -hmm. Hold on. All right. We're gonna do his eyes first. Are you eating his whiskers already? Are they yummy? Okay. Some of them. All right. So we're gonna take two blueberries. Two blueberries. Okay. And we're going to put an eye here. An eye here. Mm -hmm. And one right over here. And one right over here. Good job. And, this and now like that. we're going to use the little grape for his nose. A little grape for his nose. Put it all up here. Up all right. Here. Mm -hmm. And these are going to be his little ears. Okay. okay? Mommy's going to help you do those. 
All right, and then you're gonna do his whiskers. His whiskers. Um, <laughs> his whiskers. <laughs> yeah, put them next to his nose. Next to his nose. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Pick him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a little slippery. Yeah. It might look right when we're done. We'll make a cake out of bread. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've got the kitty cat and the bear. Okay. Here. So we're going to show them the little bear and the little kitty cat out of bananas and blueberries and, blueberries and grapes. And grapes. Right? Uh-huh. You want to try a bite? Uh, no. Not right now? No. Okay. Let's do the owl. We're going to do that a little bit later. we got to get some strawberries. Okay, so you, can you tell everybody at church hi? Hi. And say, we miss you. We miss you. Say, and we hope everyone has a great day. We hope everyone has a great day. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.